pregnancy tests have come a long way since the old days. Today, we can buy a pregnancy test at the drugstore and get results in minutes. But back in the day, pregnancy tests were much more primitive. In this video, we're going to count down the 10 weirdest pregnancy tests in history. Test number one, the frog test, a bizarre pregnancy test from history. Imagine a world where pregnancy tests involved frogs. That's right, frogs. In the old days, one of the most popular pregnancy tests was the frog test. To perform this test, a woman would urinate on a frog. If the frog died, she was pregnant. If the frog lived, she was not pregnant. There is no scientific basis for the frog test, and it is likely that the frogs died from other factors, such as dehydration or poisoning. But that didn't stop people from believing in it. In fact, the frog test was so popular that it was even mentioned in medical textbooks from the 1800s. So, how did it work? Well, it didn't. But that's not to say that people didn't believe in it. In fact, there are even stories of women who claim to have gotten accurate results from the frog test. Test number two, the wheat and barley test. Have you ever wondered how people used to know if they were pregnant before there were home pregnancy tests? Well, one of the most common methods was the wheat and barley pregnancy test. To perform this test, a woman would plant wheat and barley seeds in separate pots and then urinate on them. If the wheat seeds sprouted faster than the barley seeds, she was believed to be pregnant. If the barley seeds sprouted faster, she was believed not to be pregnant. There is no scientific basis for the wheat and barley pregnancy test. The growth rate of wheat and barley seeds is affected by many factors, such as the type of soil, the amount of water, and the temperature. Test number three, the cryptic onion test for pregnancy. Imagine a pregnancy test that involves cutting an onion in half and holding it up to your nose. If you cry, you're not pregnant. If you don't cry, you're pregnant. That's the onion test, a bizarre pregnancy test that was popular in the old days. But does it actually work? The onion test is based on the idea that pregnant women are more sensitive to the gas in onions that irritates the eyes. However, there is no scientific evidence to support this claim. Test number four, the mysterious garlic pregnancy test. Imagine a time when women turn to garlic for clues about their pregnancy. The age-old garlic test, a peculiar method of pregnancy detection, had women consuming a clove of garlic and then inserting it into their vagina. The next morning, they awaited the verdict. If the garlic emitted a different scent, they believed they were pregnant. If not, they were not expecting. But is there any truth to this peculiar test? The reality is far from what folklore suggests. Scientifically, the smell of garlic can be influenced by various factors such as the garlic type, cooking duration, and the vagina's pH. There is no credible evidence to support the reliability of the garlic test as a valid pregnancy indicator. Test number five, the live chicken test. Have you ever heard of the live chicken test? It was a bizarre pregnancy test that was popular in the past. To perform this test, a woman would urinate on a live chicken. If the chicken laid an egg within 24 hours, she was pregnant. If the chicken did not lay an egg, she was not pregnant. The live chicken test was based on the belief that chicken eggs could be used to predict pregnancy. However, there is no scientific basis for this belief. The egg-laying cycle of chickens is affected by many factors, including the age of the chicken, the amount of daylight, and the temperature. The live chicken test was a very popular pregnancy test in the past, even though it was not very accurate. In fact, it was so popular that there were even businesses that specialized in performing the test. Test number six, a dangerous pregnancy test from the past. Imagine drinking a mixture of quicksilver and wine to find out if you're pregnant. But that's exactly what women did during the quicksilver test, a dangerous pregnancy test that was popular in the past. The quicksilver test was based on the belief that quicksilver, a toxic metal, would cause vomiting in a pregnant woman. To perform the test, a woman would drink a mixture of quicksilver and wine. If she vomited, she was not pregnant. If she did not vomit, she was pregnant. The quicksilver test was very dangerous. Quicksilver is a toxic metal that can cause a variety of health problems, including poisoning death. Many women who drank quicksilver during the test suffered from poisoning, and some even died. Test number seven, the urine test. The first reliable pregnancy test 
Did you know that the first urine pregnancy test was developed in the early 1900s? That's right, urine pregnancy tests have come a long way since then, but they are still one of the most reliable and convenient ways to test for pregnancy. Urine pregnancy tests work by detecting the presence of human chorionic gonadotropin, HCG, a hormone that is produced by the placenta during pregnancy. When a woman is pregnant, HCG levels in her urine begin to rise within a few days of conception. The first urine pregnancy tests were very different from the ones we use today. They were much more complicated and expensive, and they could only be performed in a doctor's office or laboratory. In the 1970s, home pregnancy tests became widely available. Test number eight, weird and wonderful wine test. Have you ever wondered how people in the Renaissance determined if they were pregnant? Well, one way was to use the wine test. This test was simple but effective. You would mix your urine with wine and see if it turned cloudy. If it did, this was a sign that you were pregnant. If it stayed clear, you were not pregnant. The wine test may seem strange to us today, but it was actually quite reliable for its time. This is because the hormones that are produced during pregnancy can cause changes in the acidity of urine. When urine is mixed with wine, the acidity of the urine can cause the wine to turn cloudy. How did the wine test work? Well, it's thought that the hormones produced during pregnancy cause the urine to become more acidic. Test number nine medieval pregnancy test that was so weird. Imagine a pregnancy test so strange, it involved dipping a piece of cane in your urine. If the cane turned black, it was a sign that you were pregnant, but if it stayed white, you were not. This is the cane test, a pregnancy test that was used in medieval Europe. It's one of the weirdest pregnancy tests in history, but it was actually used by people who were desperate to know if they were pregnant. The cane test worked because of a chemical reaction between the urine and the cane. If the woman was pregnant, her urine would contain high levels of a hormone called human chorionic gonadotropin, HCG. Test number 10, gruesome sheep liver test. Have you ever wondered how people in ancient times found out if they were pregnant? Well, one method was the sheep liver test. This test was quite gruesome, but it was also surprisingly accurate. To perform the test, a woman would sacrifice a sheep and then examine its liver. If the liver was dark and bloody, this was a sign that she was pregnant. But if the liver was pale and white, this meant she was not pregnant. It's not clear exactly how this test worked, but scientists believe that it may have been detecting the presence of the pregnancy hormone HCG in the woman's urine. The sheep liver test was used for centuries, and it was even mentioned by the Roman physician Galen in the second century ad. So there you have it, the 10 weirdest pregnancy tests in history. These tests are all pretty bizarre, but they were all used by people in the past to try to determine if they were pregnant. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe, and don't forget to leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.